Hello, flat earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. I'd like to try and illustrate how horizons and sunsets work. Here we have a man standing on the edge of a cliff looking out into the middle of nothing with his line of sight at a horizontal line. Uh, creating his horizon and we have the actual path of the sun above the flat earth going off into the distance like that keeping a constant height above the flat plane so here's an illustration of perspective how we see the world when looking straight ahead uh, we have everything on the surface rising up to the midway point, the vanishing point, and everything in the sky heading down to the vanishing point. And if we put the sun up there and have it traveling away from us, this is what we see. And of course people will say we should see the sun shrinking. Well, we do uh, from this low perspective on the ground but not very much and of course we can't see very far across the surface while the sun remains a long way away and that's why we don't get a chance to see the size of the sun change much from our earthbound perspective but once we get higher and watch it from an aircraft or something we will see the sun shrink as it gets further away due to perspective. Here is another illustration of perspective with the squares, apparently similar sizes and distances apart, uh, getting closer and closer together and converging in the distance at the horizon line coming up from the surface and down from the sky to meet in the middle. And we can see that uh, eventually everything just becomes so compact and condensed that we really cannot make out any detail. And this is the vanishing point. This is the limit of our vision regardless of the size or shape of the earth. But this is still not a true representation of how we see the world from our earth-based perspective, low to the surface. It should be something more like this. Here the surface remains the same from our earth-based perspective regardless of the size or shape of the earth and the uh, surface will always rise up almost to the uh, midway level of our field of view and the top half then consists of sky and we can see here that the sky is much broader we can see a lot more of the sky than we can of the surface. We can't see below or beyond the surface, but the sky is transparent, so we just see a lot deeper into that top half of the field of vision that we have. So we can we just see here that the, the Earth, regardless of its flatness or rotundness, is simply blocking the bottom half of our vision and bringing detail up to us right in front of our eyes whereas the sky is a lot more of a deeper field of view or in the top half of our field of view. Back on the mountaintop we have uh, the perspective of the observer represented by the perspective grid down on the right hand side there and uh, those purple arrows representing uh, the lines of convergence to that observer's horizon. And here we have the sun uh, and the path it will appear to take as it travels across the sky, maintaining a constant distance above the earth. So we can see now that the sun has apparently gone below the observer's horizon into the lower half of his field of view and as we've already seen the surface no matter what shape or size always takes up the lower half of our field of view so while what this gentleman can see here is space in front of him we don't ever have the situation we always have something like water in front of us and that's how horizons work. It's all in the eyes of the observer and what is taking up the bottom half and top half of their field of vision. 
It has nothing to do with the shape of the earth. Thank you.